Peter Ackroyd, British novelist and biographer, was born in London, the only child of working-class Catholic parents, and was brought up on a council estate in Acton, his father, with whom he has subsequently corresponded but not met, left the family home when Ackroyd was a baby. He went, on a scholarship, to St. Benedict's School, Ealing, and then to Clare College, Cambridge, after which he was a fellow of Yale University 1971-73. He then became, at 23, literary editor of The Spectator. His first published works were two volumes of verse, reissued together as Diversions of Purley, 1987, but he found the urge to write poetry stopped, poetry is an act of intransigence, prose offers a social interaction. In his first novel, The Great Fire of London, 1982, Dickensian London and the characters in Little Dorrit have their parallels in the 1980s. In The Last Testament of Oscar Wilde, 1983, he explores the mind of the writer in the form of a confession by the dying man. In The Darkly Brooding Hawksmoor, 1985, two Londons, of the 17th century and of today, dissolve into each other in a hunt for a bizarre killer. He employs a similar artifice, involving three eras, in Chatterton, 1987, in which the poet's death is linked with the marriage of Meredith and with curious events and characters in modern times. Hawksmoor was the second leg of a remarkable double, for it won the Whitbread Award for Fiction the year after his T.S. Eliot, 1984, gained the Whitbread Award for Biography. The latter, which centers on the poet's creative years, is all the more impressive in that permission was not forthcoming to quote from any of Eliot's published or unpublished work. Chatterton, Wilde, and T.S. Eliot reappear, as does Ackroyd himself, in the occasional fictional dialogues introduced into Dickens, 1990, a biography in which the novelist's characters receive fuller treatment than his family. The technique is extended in English Music, 1992, a novel of the 1920s in which a boy visionary, in alternate chapters, meets classic English writers and painters and moves through their works, the whole forming a lyrical panorama of English culture. Fiction and fact, present and past, are amalgamated, too, in the sinister narratives of London, The House of Dr. D., 1993 and Dan Leno and the Limehouse Colon, 1994. Milton in America, 1996, is an alternative and satirical excursion into the life of the poet. Blake, 1995, is a straight and distinguished critical biography of the The Poet, Engraver, and Mystic.